As we promise you, every single Wednesday night, we bring you an amazing interview on The Price Report, a segment of The Crypto Lifer Show. And today we have an amazing guest that's making something really, really big. Also, there's some connection to Ben Token. You may want to stay clued into what's going on here because this could be some alpha that you may want to hear immediately. So we're jumping on in with this amazing guest right now, my man Jet with the Hourglass Weight Token, and that is the next Crypto Gem Show. Um, take it away, Jet. How you been, man? How you feeling? Uh, how's your day going so far? Hey, man, I'm doing great. Uh, things couldn't be better here. Uh, and also, it was awesome getting to hang out with you at not one or two, but I think we figured out three parties we were at <laughs> at the same yeah. parties at uh, during Bitcoin Miami, some epic times. Um, and uh, yeah, we're we're just weeks away from um, from having the the next Crypto Gem premiere. I expect in the next about the next two weeks, we're going to know what the premiere date is, and then it's going to run for six uh, weeks. Um, in a row, crypto is finally going to be on mainstream TV. The on week six, it's going to be a double episode uh, where you also get the after show. And uh, I think most of the people out there may know what the next crypto gem is, but for those of you who don't, we produced a competitive um, reality show, kind of like a mix between Shark Tank, The Voice, America's Got Talent, all of this mixed together. But it's for crypto, and it's all crypto projects competing to be the next crypto gem. The judges are some of the very best people in crypto. Leia Halpern, Cryptos Are Us, George, Brian D. Evans. We have some epic guest stars, uh, Ben Bitboy, um, and uh, also Tom Duan, the professional poker player. And um, uh, it's going to be, it, it's incredible. We're, it's almost edited. I've seen it, and uh, I'm really happy with how it went. This is the first project that we incubated out of the Hourglass um, community, and there's a lot more coming. And um, yeah, I, I'm excited. We, we have so much going on right now. I'm in meetings basically back to back to back to back with so many people that want to work with us, so many partners, just so much going on. Yeah. Uh, explain to me the judge, like how you pick the judges, like how's that process? Um, you know, were there some people that you were like really hoping on? How, how did you get this stellar, stellar cast? I mean, it's amazing. It's good eclectic group. George's been on for a long time. Leia just brings the energy. Everyone knows her. She's awesome. She's done Peter Schiff interviews too. So she's got to, she went to bat, you know, people think she's just a pretty face, but she also goes to bat for the crypto industry. How did you get this amazing stellar cast? So first I'll just say that originally I was just hoping that, you know, they would be in our show. Um, now they've actually all become my good friends that I talk to pretty much every day. And they're also advisors for, for Hourglass. Um, so I, I couldn't be happier with our judges. Uh, when we first started, we we first had a guest appearance lined up from Kevin Harrington, one of the original sharks from Shark Tank. So he does a little guest bit in our show. And he knew um, a guy named um, Brandon Adams, who happened to know Brian Evans. So it was just kind of by, you know, connections that we got in touch with Brian Evans. And Brian agreed to do it. He was the first one on board and we really liked his background because he's a he's a top crypto VC. He's in over 300 crypto investments. The guy is just a machine. Oh my gosh. Um, he knows everybody. He's a super kid. You, you know Brian, right? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Yep. Yeah, he, he's, he's freaking awesome. And then what happened was that we actually, um, I actually gave the producers a short list and he's like, look, tell me who you want. I'm going to go after them. And uh, very, very high on my list, the very, very top was Leia Helpern and George. And then it just so happened that we got who, exactly who we wanted. So, I mean, it wasn't right away. They asked, I mean, George asked a lot of questions. He vetted the the, the bejesus out of us. <laughs> but once he realized this is a le legit project, we have a really good production team behind us. Um, you know, we were shooting this at a top studio with with six camera people using the best equipment all reds mm, so we're going to get really nice. good quality it's going to broadcast in native 4k once he realized that that's what we were going to do and he got to know me and the people behind this he was on board and leia and now they're really excited about everything we're going to do beyond so we're going to do obviously season two of the next crypto gem after this it's going to be bigger and better introduce uh weight hourglass weight token utility into it as well so to make it a true web 3 and web 2 project combined and then we're um we're going to be doing other crypto tv projects as well uh we just partnered with uh the ben coin collective uh 
the the token that um, BitBoy took over. And um, we're also talking to him about a whole bunch of things for for TV that we're going to have Hourglass and Ben do together mm. and as well as live events. So we have so much going on. Yeah. It's funny, you know, we kind of met online because I believe through Crypto Grady, really, who's such a good connector oh, and Grady, good energy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was I online Grady. and he was telling me about different coins and I noticed that he had a knack. Because I, that basically I made most of my money like deep diving and looking for that one or two, you know, diamond in the hay, in the haystack, you know, just that, yeah. that, that thing that I could find that no one was really paying attention to. And then I would slowly DCA into it when no one, you know, build a big enough bag. And next thing you know, when it got popular and known, be able to kind of sell it off. And I saw that in crypto Grady. I said, man, he's a grinder. Cause I know what it is to be a grinder yes. in the space. And he started giving me one, two tokens, a couple one. I met him basically at Decentral Miami. And uh, so that's how me and you basically probably wouldn't be here. It's funny how the whole tr process works. You know what I mean? We yes. eventually did run into each other, but we wouldn't have had that. You know, we met online, then we met in real life, which is funny how the space works. And so I, yeah. I bought the way token just as a speculative, you know what I mean? I didn't know you from a hole in the wall. Like this isn't sponsored or anything, everyone. This is just a connection online that I wanted to share with you guys. And so I bought the way token because I said, listen, um, I put together narratives and I see how they turn out. You know what I mean? And that's speculation. Like it doesn't have to make tons of money, but maybe it will. And when I see something new and innovative, I'm all over it because I like to take a shot at something. That's really where the money is when no one has the guts to get into a project. No one has the foresight. So, and also I have a TV background, right? I looked you up a little bit. I saw what you were doing. Um, I saw some of the pictures too from behind the scenes. I was like, oh, they're suiting reds. It looks yeah. like, you know, it, it was high end, you know, had body yeah, cams. High end. <laughs> yeah. You know, um, you know, proper, you know, DPs, you know, like everything looked lit very well. So, how, yeah, explain to, explain us a little bit about how you came up with the token. Um, you know, who's, you know, how did you, like, I know, because there's the TV team, there's the token team. How does that work together? And, like, what is the vision? You can't say everything, but what is that vision sure. for that token? You know, it's like, Absolutely. can I buy it and, and, and vote on the, on the channel live? Or is there going to be some interaction with the crowd? Like, I'm just trying to think. I'm brainstorming. I'm excited. Yeah. Absolutely. So the interesting thing with Hourglass is that I, we didn't launch the token an anonymous developer launched the token and we just built, I was part of the community that built around it. And um, when, when we were in the early stages of the community, this was back. Uh, wow. This was like August, September of last year. We were trying to figure out, okay, what is our ethos? Mm -hmm. And it just so happened that we had a lot of really creative people who cared about web three adoption. And what we decided was that let's make this a token about making the whole Web3 space bigger for everyone. Because what I see too much of that that frustrates me is there's too many derivative projects. So like the minute you get one interesting project of a certain uh, category or a certain theme, then there's like 20 ripoff projects that are just exactly like that. And I don't, I don't feel that is really advancing the space. It, it, I, I've given this analogy a few times. It's kind of like if you have this great tourist location, which is the cryptocurrency world, right? But then there's just too many souvenir shops and every single fucking block, there's 10 more souvenir shops coming up every five minutes mm -hmm. and it just kind of confuses the everyone, right? Mm -hmm. So what we want to do with, with our glass is that we want to make the whole space bigger. We want to bring in uh, more adoption and more people into the space by educating them and also entertaining them. So I knew that in order to do this uh, effectively on a large scale, we had to have a very strong, um, we had to have a very strong uh, entity in our community. So that's when I brought in um, Neff Brands and the owner of Neff Brands is a billionaire. His name is Jeff Mahoney. He's on our website, hourglassx.com as the chairman of the um, uh, of, of our Hourglass group. And um, he brings so much to the table. I mean, he owns over 20 companies. One of them is a TV production company that uh, produced the next crypto gem. He also Amazing. owns a plethora of apps that we're going to be integrating the weight token into. Um, he owns a fintech company that has 7,000 institutional clients. And um, I mean, the guy is just literally, people don't really know about him, but he's one of the most successful people outside the crypto space to come in and, and be a friend to blockchain. And he's doing it through Hourglass um, and, and with us, which is so flattering, you know? So every day I, I'm here literally at the Neft office right now where I, I work with him and uh, his team here. And I have, I feel this responsibility that if we're going to have someone this strong in our community, we better not fuck it up and we better go all out and 
you know, make everything best of the best. So that's why when we're doing productions, we want to bring on the best judges. We want to have the best, you know, production equipment. When we, uh, we recently started an incubator program where we're going to bring in, we're going to create lots of, uh, I wouldn't say create, some of them are going to be create. Some of them are going to be, um, kind of, uh, I would say that, um, rolling into our ecosystem with our, t our tokenized, um, into our ecosystem. So like there's this project that we brought into our incubator program called alpha district, and it's a triple a blockchain game in verse. Uh, we've now announced this and showed the trailer. The people who built this are incredible. There's some of the folks behind some of the biggest names in entertainment and triple a gaming. So we have folks that worked on Star Wars, The Mandalorian, uh, Black Panther, Clash of Clans, literally not in low level positions, in high level creative and tech positions, um, building Alpha District. And they're exclusively going to be using the Hourglass Weight Token as the in-game uh, currency. So this is immediate utility and adoption. There's going to be mini games live, hopefully by the end of the year, and it's going to be completely um, out before the... Bitcoin having next year, we believe. And uh, we have another half dozen projects like this in the pipeline. Some of them are um, regular companies like apps that Neff Brands owns. And then we're going to add tokenization into them where there's benefits if you integrate the weight token into them. Um, and so those are in-house projects that, that we have control over. And um, there's another one we're going to release in about two weeks-ish. I'm really, really excited about it. All I have to say is that there's a whole other team behind it. They're going to use the weight token exclusively. And um, though there's a web, there's kind of a web two version of this project that we have a web, the web three version of, and the web two version sold for over uh, half a billion dollars. So we think that the space has a lot of upside and um, I can't give it away, but you'll just, just stay tuned. We're going to, we're working on that rollout now. Wow. And so, yeah, we got a, we got a ton going on. Um, and that's that's kind of the, the gist of it. Wow. See, when I started this interview, I thought we were just going to kind of discuss lightly the show, talk about it. But you just talked <laughs> some serious alpha. Anyone who's listening to that right now, I mean, you're, everyone always complains about the gaming. You know, Axie Infinity was cool, but, like, it needs to be right. beefed up a little bit, right? And, like, there's probably some low-key developers that decided they could make just enough to get it on board. I mean, at one point, people in the Philippines were making a living on that. So, uh, yeah. as, that, as that being a pioneer of movement... You know, you might end up actually making people a living, too, with this token. People don't realize the opportunities that cryptocurrency creates because it levels the playing field. Like, you know, they print so much U.S. dollars, right? Connect all the money to the U.S. dollar. And then, you know, everyone else is poor throughout the world, like in the Philippines and stuff like that. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, people can have access to this new worldwide international kind of gaming uh, I, platform that's connected. See, I didn't realize how deep you guys were going or how many people were really oh, locked yeah. in. I mean... When I buy a token or a coin or invest, I'm investing, you know, I always tell everyone, you know, I, I got into Canopy Grow Corp back in the day, one of my major investments that helped me lead me to Bitcoin because Bruce Linton and I followed his, you know, his business basically appetite and how he kind of went through his, his due diligence, right? Um, yeah. You know, you, you seem to be connected to a whale of a whale, a man that has basically built an, um, an empire, right? And you don't get to be billionaire status without working your butt off. I bet the guy works 10, 12, 15, 16 hour days or, you know, just constantly grinding because... It becomes part of your work ethic to hit levels like that. And to see you match up with him, yeah, like now you guys have to really truly deliver, right? Because you want to you wanna solidify that connection. You want to earn that respect. Wow, man, I'm, uh, I'm blown away right now. Like this is uh, like way more than I thought. L last thing, I mean, this is so much alpha in, in a small pack, uh, pack piece of time. How did Ben come in with the Ben coin? And how did weight token and Ben coin begin to see a marriage here? And, uh, you know, it, you know, and I can't say you probably have to be able to disclose everything, but what kind of alpha could yeah. you give? Because people are, you know, biting at the bit with Bencoin, looking at what's happening. Yeah. And um, that's kind of really a big wave recently since Pepe has calmed down, you know? So, yeah, absolutely. Um, so I got to know Ben um, over time. Uh, first, I just ran into him at Decentral randomly. And I was just like, hey, man, <laughs> kind of like as a fan, I was like, hey, you should you should be in our TV show. And back then, we hadn't even really announced that much, but I had... I gave him a little bit tease as to what was going on. It was still pretty early in pre-production. Mm -hmm. Then it turned out that he's friends with Brian D. D. Evans, who was one of our judges. So through Brian Evans, uh, I kind of got to know him. He he did a, an amazing guest starring role in our show. He had some of the best scenes. And um, I got to say, I, I really get along with Ben. I think he's he's a controversial character, but I really like him. 
I think what I like about him is that he's so real and transparent. Like he just, and I think that's what makes it so engaging too. He just literally talks off the top of the head. So like we'll be doing a video conference and he'll just be, he'll be going off just what's on his head. He'll do a live stream and it's the same exact guy. It's the same thing. The same it's there's, <laughs> there's no, okay, now I'm going to put on the filter. And, and I think that that's what's so interesting about him and why it's so fun to watch, you know, and obviously he has strong opinions about everything. And I agree with a lot of what he, he says, not a hundred percent, but I agree with him a lot. And I think that, um, what he's doing with, with Ben token is really interesting. It's kind of similar to what we did with Hourglass, where Hourglass was someone else launched it. And then we took over the project and um, we built a community around it. And he's doing the same thing. As you know, that uh, Ben Quinn was originally launched by Ben Dadith, but yep. now um, BitBoy Ben run, runs the project and uh, he, he he runs a liquidity pool and he's he, you know, the, the, the social assets, the website have all been transferred to him in a deal. And uh, we're, I'm working, I can't tell you everything, but I'm working very, very closely with him every day on this because I think that he sees some parallels and we see a lot of ways to collaborate. Um, we're going to be doing media together. Some of the things that we're looking for, like, you know, sex exchange, um, exchange listings, the, you know, market makers, all this stuff we're kind of, we're, there's ways to kind of talk to the same people at the same time. Cause we're all in the same circles. Mm -hmm. And so we're doing a lot with them. And, um, I have, you know, Ben token, uh, we, we have people here that are invested in it. And I, I, I think a lot of people don't really understand right now. They think that maybe this is something that he's just doing as a, like a short term publicity stunt, but I can tell you, I've talked to him for hours and hours and he's dead serious about making this like one of his baby projects and he has you know he has a whole roadmap planned as to making the ben token the token for um advocacy and crypto adoption and i think we're going to see uh i think we're in the very very early stages of, yeah. of ben token and i'm i'm really excited to be working with him well, the bigger you get and the more, you know, the more you say kind of how you feel, you're never going to make yeah. everybody completely happy. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. I always pay homage to Ben. He, he you know, when he started, uh, you know, the awesome show around the blockchain, I got kind of spotlighted as a great analyst. And that that helped like spur my kind of like online career and got, you know, got me on the map and uh, threw me on his day show too as well. So like, I'll always pay on, you know, honor to Ben because I know, you know, I know where like he helped me get places I never thought possible and because he didn't you know he always shared the spotlight and he actually you know like he used to say he's like some people come on the show it doesn't help me if I put someone on with 5,000 subscribers but he's like I did it for everyone like I did it for the entire for the entire community to see the community grow uh when he was doing his book tour here I reached out I said hey man because he, he wasn't able to stream right he was running around the country I said man if you want to stream in Boston you can always come to my house and I just said it just kind of being you know kind of funny but being supportive you know and next thing you know it's like I'll be there, you know, and it's so funny. Like he showed up at my house and it was like, it was just, it, you know, it was like, I thought about my, my, my little travel through the crypto world. Like you start a channel with like three subscribers and I remember making this video, I'm going to travel, I'm going to meet everyone. I'm going to go through the space. And now it's like a reality TV show that people are watching. And right. next thing you know, I see him in <laughs> yeah. my house. I'm, you know, I, I saw you in Miami and it's, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I believe, you know, dreams do come true for, for people that push every single day and stay disciplined, right? It's not going to happen overnight. Like uh, the show didn't get made um, and all the you know pre-production. I was in TV for years. So that's another kind of why I'm into this token is because I like to invest in what you know, right? Uh, yeah. I, my last thing I was working on was my next guest needs no introduction for David Letterman on Netflix. And I was basically the media manager guy, assistant editor and editor. So I would like take the footage from the team, make sure all the dailies matched what we said we were going to receive, you know, where's the close up of this shot. And sometimes they would miss a shot. And I'd be like, guys, like we need more close ups of this. And like, we'd be able to, you know, patch in a day. Um, we'd organize everything, put the last uh, package together, send it off. So this got me so excited because I got to kind of invest in what I know, right. You know, which is TV production. Uh, explain uh, it, again too. I'm looking at the pamphlet here and my, my team will probably show it on the screen. Sure. But it looks like it's going to be distributed like worldwide. Like it almost looks like oh, there's yeah. a country that you can't. So how did, how did you, how do you move forward with that? Um, how, how do people accept cryptocurrency? Are there any markets that want to eat it up more? Are you seeing, or is it kind of generally across the board, a good, healthy interest? You know? Well, the beauty is that the way we did things here was that we didn't just make the show and then hope we get distribution. We, before we even began pre-production of the show, we first had a really strong uh, distribution partner in uh, Bespoke TV. 
And we also knew that uh, Bespoke had a really strong partnership with Insight TV, a much larger distributor and sales agent that uh, once we got to a certain point, we, were, we knew we were going to take it to, to Insight. Um, at, we, did it, we also knew that Insight was a blockchain-friendly distributor because they already had done a show called The Blockchain Life. And um, and so they they like the space. They're targeted towards Gen Z, millennial. They um, broadcast in native 4K in um, over 180 platforms, over 50 countries and 12 nice. languages. So there was a little moment where we were just on Bespoke. We knew we had the relationship with Inside TV and we didn't know if they wanted it yet. So when we got to the point where we had our full pitch deck, we showed what we did, we showed what we had, we showed some, they were like, absolutely, we are, we are, we want this. So that was a really exciting moment. Because then we kn we knew at that point we're going to be everywhere. So um, you know the next crypto gem we have an existing distribution deal. We're going to be on over 180 platforms. Some of them include Amazon Prime, Samsung TV, uh, Pluto, um, LG. We're also on uh, Direct TV primetime here in the U.S. and uh, we are also on Vizio. Many 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 more. Uh, some of them were even going to be um, like on this, like on the platforms were going to be like hero page featured on some of these and uh, over 50 countries, um, over 12 languages. And we're not done yet. They, they were pretty close to finishing editing all the episodes. We're probably about two weeks away or so. And um, there's some very, very big platforms that um, they wanted to see all of it. And then we're going to be in discussions with, the platforms that I, you know, that I didn't mention yet. And um, so we're very optimistic uh, about everything. And hey, man, we got to get you involved with season two. Yeah, that'd be, yo, see, look at that. That's how it happens, everyone. You get work. That's how it happens. You get there. <laughs> I can't wait, man. That'd be awesome, man. Sign, sign the form right now. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, where's the NDA? Where's the NDA? <laughs> you know, um, but man, this is amazing. Uh, I think we dropped enough alpha on the Lifer community. Uh, tell people where they can find you. I see you bouncing on Twitter. You do happen to say fun things and interesting things. And uh, we want to kind of watch you as you continue to grow. And I, I'm sure this isn't going to be your first show on the blockchain. Uh, you could end up becoming like the mogul that people look to five, 10 years from now, um, building a, a massive like TV crypto web three empire. So I think you're on to something here. Huge. Uh, I'm going to ride your coattails, man, all the way. So um Everyone, uh, we'll yeah, together, man, alliance. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> I just break. want people to know where they can find you, and uh, any last words you want to say just to the community, man. I really appreciate your time. This was like an amazing interview. Hey, man, I really appreciate it also, and uh, it was cool getting to hang out with you, meeting you in person with the whole crew that we kept on saying. Like we were talking about earlier, the people that are in crypto that are actually doing good things, they get it. We're in for the long term that are um, going to be a positive force. We're kind of a tight knit knit group and it's awesome being part of it with you and uh, so many people um, that have collaborated with us. You can um, learn more about us on our website, hourglassx.com. I'm on Twitter at UltraStarter. That's my personal. And uh, if you go on mine, you'll pretty soon see that I've retweeted our Hourglass Twitter, which is at Hourglass underscore weight. And um, you can see everything that we're doing. Um, basically, we're still in the baby stages. Like I told you, we have a very, very successful um, community member, Jeff Mahoney, who's the chairman of, um, of our Hourglass group. And uh, this is still the early, early times for him. He's looking at this as we're here and we want to be here, right? Mm -hmm. So every day I come into this office, I come in with these, those that we're just building, 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 building. Um, you know, I, we're, I think that we're in a really good position because we're about a year from the having right now. And, uh, I think that usually there's a lot of excitement around that time. And then after, and right now we're building so strong that by the time we get there, we just want to be a, a Goliath at that time and, and really be in, be in the perfect position. And, um, yeah, man, I want to thank all of our community members. Cause I think we have some of the most creative community members in our glass and uh, loyal and smart and incredible people. I think that's reflected in how we've been doing. Uh, we recently had one of them create a hourglass rock anthem. He's a really talented mu musician. And uh, you can see that if you go to our Twitter and we made a little music video about it. And we're going to be having a lot more parties. So uh, stay tuned and we'll we'll tell you how to come meet us in real life. Yeah, the parties were great too. You guys threw an amazing <laughs> party. It was really classy. Nice spot. Met a lot of awesome people there. Like met a lot of high quality people at that event. Oh, yeah. And, uh, 
It was, uh, you know, one of the premier uh, events of the entire Miami trip. Thank you so much for your time yet again. Thank you so much for coming on the show. And everyone, that's Jet. Remember, it's the weight hourglass for the next crypto gem.